Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial we want to have a look on the Llama shader system from ILM in Renderman and Houdini. So the Llama layer system, Llama material layer system is actually super easy. It looks a bit more complicated but it's super easy. So let's jump into it. Let's delete here this notes. We want to keep here the pixel texture nodes. So something you need to know about the texture nodes here, if you have a UDIM sequence of a texture, you need to plug in here that UDIM token. Replace the number with the UDIM token, otherwise RenderMan will not pick it up as a UDIM texture sequence. I hope this will be fixed on a newer RenderMan version that you don't have to switch here to UDIM again. So, we need a few nodes. We need the Llama Diffuse. We need the Llama Conductor and we need the Llama Dielectric. We need this one here two times. You will see that in a bit. So what are these nodes doing? It's actually a sandbox version of creating materials. So we have here the diffuse component. We have here the metallic component and we have here the specular or the reflection component. So we want to start hooking up here our nodes. The roughness going here into the roughness. Diffuse goes here into diffuse color. Metalness comes later. And we want to also use the bump with the bump node from Pixar. You can also use here the texture input on the node itself, but I like to have all my texture nodes here laid down so I can see which textures are really used in my shader. We can um, press here on the little arrow button to hook up here our R channel to the bump node. We need to change here the scale. And because the developers from Pixar are super smart, they made a super cool way to mix them together. It's so easy. You can use the result from the bump on the bump overlay and use here the RGB for your normal and hook them up here into our shader. Yeah, we don't need it here. And here. So, as you saw here, we have a few more nodes to play with. We need for that the mix node. We need a layer node. And we need a metallic node. So the metallic node is actually for driving our values here in our conductor node. Here we have to read carefully. Here's the specular edge RGB, which is going into the edge color. And we have the specular face RGB, which is going here into the reflectivity. In this one, we want to use the diffuse here into base color, because sometimes the metal has some color action going on as well. So to bring this one here together, these two components, we want to use a layer node because we have the diffuse component and on top we have the specular component here together. For the metallic, we want to use a mix node because we already have here um, a, reflective, a reflectivity component going on. For that, we can use here the R channel for the mix input this one here is the material 2, and this one here is the material 1. So we need also a Llama surface node here. Extend it here, bring that here into shader 1, and this we here into our front input. So we can now quickly check what the actual shader is doing. Let's bring here the IPR into, into play. And as you can see here, our shader works. You can now go crazy and start fine tune your your look of here. You can you can do crazy things with bring in here a color correct node and boost it up here and maybe add a bit more saturation. You can do whatever you want. You can also control separately your roughness stuff. And yeah, of course. Just so we also want here the roughness map. So 
Now we have one little note here which is missing, right? And that's super cool. So we want to have another material layering on top and that's here this, this oily part. That's actually a separate material we want to control here. For that we need to turn on compute interior because it's a liquid and we want to have actual thickness going on on this material. So it, it calculates some ray action which enters the surface and do some, yeah, whatever rays are doing, some ray action. <laughs> For that we can use again the Lama layer node because we are layering another material on top. So just bring it in here. Yeah, it's the wrong. Maybe that's something which can be fixed. Guys from Renderman, you are super smart about that. So when you plug in here a node, maybe bring it in here into the base first. Of course, we want to have here the normal and we want to have here our mask driving the mix. So here we need to bring in a bit of thickness, maybe something like that. And let's see what it's doing. Hit up the render. And it's doing exact nothing. So, ah, it's doing something because we missed to plug in here the roughness map as well. So why are we doing that? Now we can control our color of this oily part here separately. We can go here for the interior and we have the abs absorption color and we can go for a crazy green. And as you can see, we have some green stuff here just on the oily on the oily parts from the mask I have exported from Mario. But we don't want to have here a green alien looking oil. We want to have more of a realistic value here. Maybe something like that. It's really subtle, but this little small details will make it in the end more believable. So it's in the end always collection of subtle small details which create the photorealism. I think I say that in every tutorial I do, kind of, but yeah, it's, it's just true, trust me. So this doesn't look too bad. You can play around with that on your own and that's how you can create Llama shader networks. And uh, something which is super super cool in Houdini is you can create your own shelf uh, presets here. As you can see here, I have already uh, from previous tests some action going on. How many times do I say action going on in the tutorial this time? I, in every tutorial I have something different. I say all the time. Super weird. <laughs> we can simply, simply drag and drop here the node into our shelf and from here we can just drag it here into our node graph and we have the pre preset going on. I just need to swap here the path of my texture nodes and the rest is already done. That's super cool and that's for a while I like Houdini a lot if you ask me. So you can really make your own tools and work with them. That speeds up the, the whole workflow in general. So yeah, by the way, you can get the complete scene for free on my Gumroad page. The link is in the video description. Just the wood will be missing because it's coming from Quixel. It's a Quixel texture, but you can hook there in whatever you want. I think it will just assign the base grade to the plane. So you can practice creating your own llama shader by creating here the ground plane texture. It's really, as you can see, the exact same. We have the dielectric, which is controlling the reflectivity of the surface. We have the diffuse component, which controls the color given parts of of our material and we have of course here the bump and normal map a bit of color correction and a ramp just to to tune a bit our roughness roughness texture here and a manifold node just to give it more more tiles here so as you can see it's nothing super crazy and it's actually more easy as you think it just looks complex but yeah, learn it and you will at least look like a pro because yeah, it looks super, super crazy. Whatever, I'm talking bullshit. So have fun creating shaders and as always, make sure to join our Discord channel if you don't know it already. The video, the, the link is in the video description 
description as well. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.